for Ando. He's in the white trunks. Black trunks for Camden McCrory. Good check by Saman in the scramble. Camden's on him with a strong underhook on the right-hand side, trying to sneak around behind Josh. Josh the man acknowledged that this will be his most difficult UFC fight. McCrory, very crafty jump. Look how he's using his head, pressing his head up against Josh's. And Josh did a good job of moving to the other side. McCrory last fought at UFC 101 against John Howard in Philadelphia. It's crazy, he's only 29 years old, and we haven't seen him in six years. Entered in 2007 at 20 years old. Nice knee to the body there Big by Tandon. And one of the things that I'd said leading up to this fight was that he had not fought for a long time, but he spent a tremendous amount of time training in the yeah. gym. Like, his skills have improved dramatically. He said he never retired, never said that word. He always knew he was going to come back. He was just looking for the right time, not just professionally, but personally as well. Look at this, though. Some man on top, but Tamden, very dangerous off of his back. He's got a very good jiu-jitsu game. But Josh Saman now on top of him. I mean, back in the day, Joe, Tamden McClure, he even it says he was the nerdy kid, which proved to everybody you can't always judge a book by its cover. He, he redefined that at the time. Good wrist control here. Making sure that he's defending himself against the potential ground and pound by Saman. While trying to advance his position, he's trying to protect against that right hand of Saman while still trying to move his left leg into play and out of the half guard position. Right now he's trapped. And in the scramble, he's trying to scoot out, and Josh does a great job of grabbing his hips and setting them back down to the mat. Good scramble here by Saman, stepping over that right leg. Both of these guys are always the type of fighter who's looking for a finish. Both guys brown belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yep. McCrory had two fights, Joe, in his comeback, if you will, his return. Armbar, armbar here. Samantha's got to be real careful that left arm. McCrory's trying to hold on to it. Look out. He kicked. Uh, Samantha's Samantha in. His elbow's out. He's all right. But he switched it up to yeah, a triangle. Yeah, the craftiness of Tandon McCrory. Yeah. Samantha, Samantha scrambles, though. Very nicely done by Josh. But now, all over. Yes. McCrory on top. That's the barn cat right but there. Excellent utilization of that. And that, that came up earlier tonight during the uh, Usman fight. You see it here as well. Using that submission attempt to get back to his feet. But look at the scramble. Josh the man on top. Joe referring to one of the fights we had live for you on UFC Fight Pass. One of the preliminary fights earlier tonight. McCrory trying to do something from the bottom. The man has posture here. Looking for some ground and power. That really is the difference between just holding on from the bottom and threatening. When you threaten, you force your opponent to defend and make moves. Those moves create openings. Josh the man with some heavy elbows to the body. But Tamden with a good attempt here at a Kimura. Same thing. Use it for the scramble. Now he's got the back of Josh the man. And he locked it in here. He's got time to work. He lost the back position, but now he's looking for a triangle. He's looking for an arm bar. Boy, he is chaining these submission attempts up. Josh's left arm is in a bit of trouble here. It looks like he's almost got it out. He's out and on top. But this is a mad scramble. Yeah. Camden doing a great job to achieve half guard, spinning those hips. And this fight is being fought at a very high pace, and that's one of Josh Saman's strengths. He's very fit, very good athlete. But we're seeing some really strong technique from Tandon McCrory. McCrory Ooh, with left hand by Saman there. McCrory and Saman with some high-level grappling exchanges here in round one. Tamden had two fights, Joe, before returning to the UFC. One in 21 seconds, then he won in 66 seconds. Ten seconds away from the conclusion of round one. Good start.
One UFC Fight Night prelim sponsored by Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Fight! Good grappling exchanges in round one. Round two, looking for the kick early, is Saman. Immediate pressure by Saman, looking for the takedown, but he's got to be careful of his neck. Camden setting him up. He's gently putting that left arm over his head. Waiting for Josh Saman to commit to it, so he really goes after it. Now it's Saman with a nice takedown. But Tamden rotating his body clockwise, looking to get full guard, and he gets it. Joe, way back in the day, Tamden McCrory attended an Eddie Bravo seminar to learn the rubber guard. And he's got a very good guard, yeah. He's got long legs, too, which is a huge factor for leverage and also just for being able to get your legs in position. It's a big advantage. He said, when and why did he start training for fighting? I have a lot of pent-up rage from being the nerdy kid. I wanted to unleash some of that. He's very good at it. No pro fights for five years, but still only 29 years old with 13 career victories. It's a man trying to do some damage from top position here. Good high guard here being utilized. And Josh Saman realizes he's in a real tricky position here. Doesn't want to make any mistakes. Omoplata attempt, wrist is too far deep, and he's pulling it out of it. But the barn cat might be able to, if he can keep his hand in place, it's going to scoot up. Nope, Saman gets it out. The barn cat gets that underhook, and he may use it to get on top, and he does. Very nice. Beautiful technique here. And McCrory is always looking for something. And he's got always. his back, Mike. He's got one hook in, and he's working to get that arm underneath the chin. He's got one hook in, and Saman tries to explode and roll. But uh, Tamden staying tight to him. Josh had his right hand close to the ear, Ooh. but now it's McCrory on top with some ground and pound. Heavy elbow. Looking to get out of the way. Looks up at the clock, 2.30. Right now, left in the second round. Midway point of this fight. Tamden trying to step over the legs to keep him out. Gets the half guard. Hard elbows by Tamden McCrory. Good ground and pound. Josh Saman, Saman's in a bad place here. He's got to push him off. Great pace being kept by both men, but right here, great pace by McCrory. been just a step ahead in these scrambles and once he's got this good position here on top he's not letting it go and Josh the man's got to really fight for that underhook Mike he's got the underhook on the same side as the half guard he's got to use that to step up McCrory returning to the octagon for the first time in over six years his first six fights were at 170 this is third career fight at 185. He's been perfect as a middleweight thus far. The man's really struggling here, Mike. He, he's got to get back up to his feet. He's sitting. He's got his back to the cage. And he's not making the big attempts. He's not exploding and trying to get back up to his feet. Looking for a Ooh. moment for a possible upkick. Pressure again from the barn cat. Good hard elbow from the short quarters by Josh Saman. 
Like we said, back and forth, high level grappling. Look at the ground control time. Pretty even. Well, the difference being that in these scrambles, Tamden is the one who's come close to achieving submissions several times. Yeah. He's the one who's attacking with submissions, whereas Josh has been able to get dominant positions in scrambles, but now here we are in the second round. Tamden seems to be taking over. In the half guard here, looking for the Kimura. Yeah, look at that. Josh has not scored a significant strike here in round number two. Josh trying to keep his hands clasped together to avoid the submission attempt. But Tamden, as long as he holds on to that left arm of Josh Saman, he wants to clamp his wrist down. Not much time to work here. But a dominant round for Tamden McCrory. Big time. coverage of Fox UFC Fight Night doesn't stop with the main event. After the fight, get a complete recap, analysis, highlights, and interviews right here on FS1. John Ennick, Brian Stan, Daniel Cormier, wait, 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 wait. and Ariel Helwani. Going to start at 10 Eastern, streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Third and final round. Josh's corner was very clear, Joe, between rounds. He said, don't fight his fight. Yeah, they said, do your game, don't do his game, but I'm not exactly sure what they meant by that. <laughs> I mean, I guess he knows. I hope so. But here it is again, Tamden on top. This is definitely not his game. But nasty ground and pound by McCoy. Yeah, good start here. And both corners, Joe, oh, really, out. really told their fighters, urged them into winning this round. Very close fight. Yeah, he's hanging on, and what he essentially has right here is one hook. If Josh the man does turn, if he doesn't turn, he's in half guard. And Tamden will hold him in this position and try to pass. He put that uh, shin down on the uh, thigh for a second, thinking about getting his right leg out, and uh, decided just to hold him in this place. He's doing it again. McCrory's previous UFC fights at 170 all came, six of them, before the age of 23. Josh Saman has been stuck in this particular position with McCoy yep. several times in this fight, and that's not good. He's, he's got to figure out how to be able to get up. This is a guy who has persevered through a ton of adversity athletically. McCrory in his freshman year of wrestling won one match. Sophomore year, it was 8 and 18. Everybody said, why didn't this kid quit? Oh, this is why, Joe. Sure. <laughs> because he is a fighter. Yeah, oh, he is a fighter, for sure. And he's just, he's so calm and technical in there, too. He's not, he's not getting by with extreme athleticism or explosion like Saman is. He's doing it with clean technique and intelligence. And he's, he's beating up Josh Saman here. Josh is trapped. And he's going to try to make the big explosion to get back up. And so he's giving up his back. He doesn't want to do that, so he adjusts. He gives up on standing up. But like here, like here, as he's getting punched, he doesn't, he doesn't scoop. He doesn't get his legs underneath him. He doesn't use that opportunity to explode back up to his feet. And he's been trapped here. It's a very unusual position to be trapped in. With your, with your butt down, your back up against the cage, most of the times, guys will explode from this spot and get up to their feet. 
It's when their body's being controlled that usually they're held in this spot. Man, and exhausting for Josh Saman. McCrory's only gone the distance twice in his career. This is 17th pro fight. He won at UFC 87 over Luke Kumo. That's a big mistake there yep. by uh, Tamden. And now Josh is on top of him. He's got to get going real quickly, Joe. Yeah, not a whole lot of time, a minute 50 plus. But he's also got to look out for the guard of Tamden and Corey. Tamden attacks off of his back. And as we talked about earlier, that's one of the ways he sets up. Sub submission attempts will set up his ability to stand back up. And he's setting it up right now. Omoplata. The Omoplata, he'll use that to get back up to his feet as long as he can hold the arm there. And he can't. But he'll chain it. He chains it into this triangle attempt here. And he'll chain the triangle attempt into an arm bar attempt if he can get the foot across the face. And he'll continue to do that. That, ar that triangle's deep. That triangle's deep, and he's attacking the arm as well. This could be the end of the fight. Josh Saman in a very bad position here. Elbows from the bottom. And Tamden's doing that not just to do damage, but also to open up that triangle, to really allow him to really crank it in. Well done, good discipline by McCrory, coming at proper angles with those elbows from the bottom. One minute on the clock. He's putting tremendous pressure here on the neck of Josh Saman. And he may switch to an arm bar, Mike. You may see he's tapping. Tamden, it's all over. Tamden McCrory, the winner in his return to the octagon. Beautiful display of technique off his back by Tamden McCrory. Welcome back, sir. <laughs> I just got the hardest high five I've ever had in my life. I think he might have broke my hand. 2,324 <laughs> days ago, UFC 101. Just beautiful technique by McCoy.